Hey there saplings, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today I wanted to do a video all about planners, my Midori Traveler's Notebook, and my Desire Map Planner, and what I'm doing for 2018. So those of you who have watched my channel for a couple years know that I have been using a Midori Traveler's Notebook, one that I made myself. This is a notebook system that's basically a leather cover and inside this cover you insert different notebooks. This is great for people who write a lot, who like to change up their setup a lot, because it's really flexible and you can do a lot of different things with the journal. I've even seen some people use a Midori for their Book of Shadows, which I think is a fantastic way of using the notebook. Last year and the year before, I had basically everything in my Midori. I had a weekly spread for my planner, I had my journal, I had a kind of uh, garden notebook for notes for community gardens, and just kind of a like brain dump imagining notebook. I've noticed that having everything in the notebook is really efficient and convenient, but it has made my journaling experience less juicy and fun. So this year I am devoting my Midori cover, which I love, it's very soft, has this shininess to it now, to just my journal and kind of spiritual ideas. This year my Midori only has three notebooks, the first of which is a blank page journal. The second is also a blank page notebook, but I'm devoting it to kind of druidry planning, um, projects, topics I want to research more, inspiration notes, not insights or ritual ideas or like book of shadow things, just kind of the, the other ideas floating around in my brain. The final notebook is a graph paper notebook, which is just the most versatile paper, I think, for Midori. You can do so much with the graph paper. And that's my typical brain dump. I call it dreams and designs. And this is where I've got like ideas for our home renovations, I've got shopping lists, I've got just random things that I need to put down on paper so it's not floating in my head. This year I took all of the notebooks and printed out watercolor pictures that I really liked and glued those onto the covers. Some people go really crazy and do amazing covers. Yay for them. Um, I'm just going to keep it simple, but it's all kind of got a theme this year. So, Midori Traveler's Notebook is just a journal and kind of a brain dump this year. My planner for 2018 is Danielle Laporte's Desire Map Planner. You might have seen this on Instagram. I have chosen to purchase Danielle Laporte's planner because I love desire mapping. It's how I'm setting my intentions for the year and has brought a lot of really awesome cool stuff into my life by really focusing on how I want to feel. And it's enabled me to have flexibility that would have been much more challenging with the way I used to do goals and kind of set myself up for the year. What I wanted out of a planner this year was more space for the day-to-day -day stuff and to have something that was already like written out in the Midori. I had a weekly spread and I was doing all this stamping every week and that's lots of fun, but it takes up a lot of time. So I wanted something that was more easily adapted that wouldn't take so long to set up. The Desire Map has a, a month on two pages and it also has this little worksheet page where you talk about your desired feelings, what your main intentions based on those feelings are for the year, and what you're going to do that month to make it happen. And then this great page where you can just put notes, ideas, to-do lists, uh, very useful. Then my desire map planner is a day on one page. So each page sets up with a date, it has astrological information on it or holidays written on it, space for your core desired feelings, a soul prompt which is really fun. I do it most mornings as I'm getting ready for the day. Most importantly it has a schedule for the day. I was using a laminated uh, scheduling kind of page that I would write out at work every day with a dry erase marker. I love being able to plan out my whole day in my planner. Not because I have 
a million things going on, but because if I say, okay, my three things that I need to get done today are X, Y, and Z, I can actually put in, okay, nine o'clock is X, 10 o'clock is Y, two o'clock is Z. And I need that because I can easily get distracted both at work or personally with other projects and other ideas. Uh, sometimes in my job, I am not in charge of my schedule. I get a lot of random requests or drop of the hat things I need to take care of that makes it harder to plan for the things I really need to get done for that day. So if I schedule out time when something unexpected comes up, I have a better opportunity of being able to still get the things I want to done by just moving a few hours around. It also has a space for a to-do list and gratitude and things you're no longer going to do or things you want to change, which is a great place to just be like, ah, I need to vent right now. Uh, and that's really useful. Get it out on paper so you're not stressing about it the rest of the day. The paper in this planner is lovely. I'm kind of a paper snob. And what I love about this paper is it feels soft, but better yet, no bleed through and no feathering. I use a Pilot Vanishing Point pen, fountain pen, and I use um, Pilot's line of ink. I care a lot about my writing utensil and the ink I use, and I want it to be really pretty and feel good, and having paper that satisfies that is very important. I also love the very pretty turquoise blue color. It matches all my navy and yellow stuff. So it's good to be color coordinated in my life. I picked up my Desire Map Planner on Amazon, uh, but really you should go to Danielle Laporte's website because she practically gives them away for free. Like she has sales regularly and they sell out um, in other places like Amazon much more often. So go to her website to pick up that planner. In the comments below, let me know what your planner of choice is for 2018. I love this stuff. If you've done a video of your own setup for the year, definitely include that in your comment. I would love to check it out. Also, at the end of videos, I would like to start doing a shout out because some of you leave incredibly awesome comments here on my YouTube channel or on Instagram, and I really love chatting with you. So this week's shout out is to Mae Wood. I think she's watched like every video there was a day where she like went through and commented on a whole slew of them so hey thanks for watching you're really awesome thanks for watching and as always may you find peace in the sacred grove